I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and this piano was a massive turnaround. I'm pretty sure we did a before video. I hope we did. I can't remember. It takes us a good eight months or 12 months or so to finish up these projects, and I forget sometimes. Anyway, this piano, when I first came across it, it was, it was, in, their, uh, it was in their garage because it had been in a flood. The, the, actually, the whole house flooded, and the piano was like at the epicenter of the flood. It was in the basement, and the water was coming down right here on the piano, and it just like completely drenched everything. And uh, the whole, those poor people, the whole, uh, their whole house flooded, um, and their, their treasured heirloom was, uh, was destroyed. But no longer. The, uh, we did a lot of veneer repair, because, because that's just what water does to veneer. It just causes it to peel up, and so we've done a lot of gluing and refinishing of this veneer and disguising of where the veneer was damaged beyond repair. And we did some re-veneering as well, and I think it turned out awesome. I don't think that, uh, that you'd be able to tell where the where the mega issues were. Yeah, these pedals are cool. So these pedals, of course, were all rusted and ugly and destroyed. Those are the original ones. So it's a Davenport uh, Tracy piano. Um, and so we've got their, they, they put their logo. That's obviously something that there's no way that you're gonna find anymore. So they've got the, that like, what, cast in the metal, I guess. And where these where these pedals were 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 uh, part of that flood, they were rusted and corroded and awful. And we've cleaned them up, sanded them down, and replated them, and they look gorgeous. Same with same with other things like this. We've replated like the lock and and other things. We've got new knobs, and then new new logo on there. Again with that same logo that uh, that's on the pedals in the middle there. Keys are new. Sharps are new. The bushings that keep them nice and nice and snug, those are all new. But the masterwork is in the guts. Let's check that out. This is where we had the fun. So of course the flood was not polite. The water was not polite. It did not stay on the outside of the piano. It, it completely drenched the inside of the piano as well. So all of this, all of these guts in here, they were all just completely demolished by the water. Water is not good for pianos. <clears throat> Again, the, the epicenter of the flood was right here, so all of this was just completely destroyed. So we took the plate out, we've got all new tuning pins, we sanded down all the rust off of original hardware like the bolts and the capo bar, and, and well, we, we had to really thoroughly clean the, some of the action parts that are original and replace most of the others, like the hammers and dampers are, are new. Of course, the strings are all new. Those were rusted like crazy, and the tuning pins were rusted. And we've got this new uh, mute rail. Whew, that looks good. This, uh, <laughs> this here we, again, we have the logo. We've got on the pedals, we've got the fallboard, on the plate as well, so that was that was hand done when when we redid the plate. Just an absolutely beautiful job on the plate, and this is a very durable automotive paint. A lot of a lot of uh, technicians and I, I used to use a, a paint that when you would tighten down those bolts, that paint would crack as you as you tighten those bolts. The paint would would chip and crack, and and it would be. Uh, a cosmetic uh, mess. You know, you, after going through all of that effort of sanding the plate and bonding it and patching it and fixing it up, making it nice and smooth, and then you put the bolts on and it ruins it. But this is a super durable, it's, it's intended for cars. It's a very expensive paint 
It's a two-part epoxy paint and it looks amazing and it's crazy durable. So that, uh, that works out great. These are, these are great hammers. Really like the sound that these hammers produce. And you can see, put the camera down here so you get like kind of a, the eyeball you know, lining up. And you can see on these, it's just a beautiful straight line right here right here and then right here it's just in a perfect straight line that doesn't so much frankly affect the play but it just it's just a professional job it looks like a factory job it's just beautifully done and same with the same with the hammer butts they're just in a perfect straight line which there again that's a that's a sign of of craftsmanship and the straight line um, I guess, I guess in a certain sense it does affect the consistency of, of the touch in that restoration. Anyway, it's very well done. And down here you can see the uh, soundboard was lacquered when we had the plate out to do that, that car paint. We sanded down the soundboard and lacquered it, made it look like brand new. That's the cool thing about wood, is it just doesn't matter what it's been through. It, as long as it's been dried out, you can make it look gorgeous again. And it has a nice, a nice, you can hear that. I hope that's coming through on the video. It has a nice uh, boom to the to that soundboard, which is what we like. But that's what we're going for right there. We've got great sustain. and power. We really have nice power down there. people dancing I guess anyway that yeah that sounds good I'm really pleased with how that piano turned out especially considering what it's been through